Anyhow, my name is Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are in the middle of my reading reset and today we're talking about the books that I did not finish. Hello there, my name is Jo and I am Fight Read Like a Girl where we do everything bookish and polycystic ovarian syndrome related on this channel. And today I'm in the middle of my reading reset where I am talking about all the books that I went through that I read in 2021 and today's topic is DNF. So DNF means did not finish and I have four that I did not get through completely. I'm not sure why. Uh, probably got distracted by some of them. Uh, I do get that a lot. I get distracted by a book. <laughs> so I'll pick a book up and then I get distracted by another one, read that one, then not go back to the other one. So two of these books are books that I got distracted by another one. So we're going to go ahead and talk about those two first. Uh, the first one I have is Fate of the Fallen by Cal Cade. I really want to like this book. Uh, I don't even think I have a shape of bookmarking here. Uh, do, do, do. No, I have a bookmark. I, I didn't even bookmark it. I think I got to like a couple chapters in here and I didn't finish it. So this is definitely on my list to get read. Um, but I got distracted so I didn't get to finish this. Uh, so from this though I kind of get the Tomb Raider vibes from the synopsis and like you know lost on an island you know, trying to figure out the mystery trying to get off the island type of deal and it's fantasy so what more can I ask for I which I really want to read it I need myself a new fantasy series I want this to be it but we're gonna get through it because I'm not fully DNFing it I just DNF'd it last year because I got distracted and I set it down and walked away from it so we're not fully DNFing it and this next one yeah I got distracted by this um, now that I'm talking about it, taking up my bookmark. Uh, so I got distracted reading this. I even listened, picked up an audiobook and everything else. And this is 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. It has to do with the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, this video is way in the future. That was something we were dealing with in 2020 and 2021. And now going to 2022, we're still dealing with it. Uh, but so this is about a couple who decided to quarantine together never met each other so there was a bunch of lockdowns and they quarantined together and one of them by the end of the quarantine ends up dead so I thought it was a really interesting book and I I got distracted walked away from it never came back to it so yes I do want to read this because I was actually really engulfed in the story but I walked away all right, this next one, now I'm gonna take my bookmark out because I'm talking about it. I got to page 208, and that is The Help by Katherine Socket. Yes, I have read this before. I was required to read it in school, and I, I don't know, like maybe it was because I was much younger when I read it, or maybe it was because I don't know I I was required to read this in college and I don't know I I feel like I feel like the author was not captivating the right culture I think this is the word I'm looking for. I mean, I'm honestly, I'm not very exposed to African American culture, okay? I'm exposed to my own culture and the way I do things. And I wasn't very much exposed to the African American culture, but honestly, it feels like it's not being done right. And I don't know why I loved this story a long time ago when I read it, but reading it now and much older. I got to 208 and I, I put it down. I walked away. I was just like, nope, I'm done with it. Absolutely done. Will I give it another chance in the future? Maybe. 
maybe but we will see all right and this last one that i'm going to be talking about i really wanted to like uh, this was a part of the love hate challenge that i did with miss alita but that is wicked by gregory mcguire i love gregory mcguire he is one of my favorite authors he's usually an auto buy author uh but I don't know. I loved the idea and the concept of this, but it moved by so stinking slow. I don't even think oh, my bookmark is not even in here anymore. Uh, this moved by way too freaking slow. I would love to actually reread this and hopefully to get past all that, maybe listen to the audiobook, but this was not cutting it for me like at all just not all right so yes short sweet and to the point those are all the books that I DNF'd this year two of them got distracted one of them or two of them were distractions two of them were just couldn't do it so I feel like it counts so if you made it this far in this video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful day hit subscribe so you don't miss the next videos that are coming because tomorrow we're going to be talking about some mental health issues that I've had going on lately because that's been kind of a thing lately, unfortunately. And I hope you guys will join me for that and I will see you tomorrow.